TypeSafe Activator is an easy way to get started building reactive applications on the TypeSafe platform. Let me show you how to use it. Once you've downloaded the zip file for Activator and extracted that zip file to your system, you can go into the Activator directory and then launch Activator. If you're on Mac or Linux, then you can double click on the Activator shell script. On Windows, I'm going to double click on the Activator.bat. This starts up the Activator web application. Activator is a local running web application and then launches the browser to that application. Now I'm in the Activator UI, and from here I can create a new application or open an existing application. To create a new application, I can choose from a number of different templates. There's some featured templates here, and then you can also browse the full list of templates. There's a number of templates that have been contributed by the community that will show all sorts of different things and teach you a number of different parts of the TypeSafe platform. I'm going to start with the Reactive Stocks application. So I'm going to select that one, and I'm going to specify to save this on my desktop. Then I hit Create. This will now take me into the application interface for this application that I've just created. Here I can browse through a tutorial that will explain the code, teach me how to run the application, and walk through really all the different pieces of the application and how they work together. I'm going to minimize that tutorial. You can follow that on your own. And I'll show you some of the other parts of the Activator UI. We can go to code, and here we can actually browse through the code of the application. So I can go in and open up the source code for the application here in the browser. I can make some minor changes to the code here in the browser. But if you're doing some serious development, you'll probably want to open this project up in an IDE. To do that, you click on Open up here in the code browser, and then you can open in IntelliJ or Eclipse. That will generate the project files that you can use to then open that project in your IDE. If you go to the Compile tab, what you'll see is the compile output from compiling the application. This is where you'll see any compile errors uh, or anything else that's going on in your application as it's being compiled. The test interface allows you to run your tests from the browser. So right now it's compiling the tests, and then once the tests are compiled, it'll run them here in the browser and tell you uh, how many passed and how many failed. So once that's done, there we go. We'll see it's run the test, and looks like all three have passed. That's great. In the Run tab, we can see information about the running application. This application has a server. It's a Play Framework application with Akka and Java and Scala. And we can now see that the application is up and running on localhost 9000. So let's open that up in a new tab. So here's the Reactive Stocks application. This is the application that we've created. Here I can see some real-time stock information being fed in simulated values, of course, and I can click on one of these stocks and it'll do a search for tweets and then determine, th based on the sediment of those tweets, whether or not I should buy or sell in, uh, the stock. And we can try it here on a few different ones and see what happens. Sometimes it takes a little while because it's going out and fetching a lot of tweet information and then it's, uh, and then it's doing the sediment analysis on those tweets. So it looks like we should hold Apple. Please don't use the stock advice from the Reactive Stocks application. Okay, so the Reactive Stocks application, it's up and running. We can see the output here. We can restart the application if we need to. Also from Activator, we can launch the TypeSafe console. The TypeSafe console gives us a way to visualize what's going on in the internals of our application in real time. This requires a free TypeSafe.com account. You can learn more about why that is there. And so what I want to do is log in. So I'm going to log in to TypeSafe.com. You can sign up for a new account if you don't have one. So log in with my credentials and then once I'm logged in I'll be able to launch the console so there we go I'm logged in now and you'll see that now the TypeSafe console is disabled it's disabled by default so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart the application with the console so this will now restart my application and then enable the console so that'll take a second to, to launch, but once it's launched, I can now open the console up in a new tab. So before I go into the console, let's reload this application here. This application, the Reactive Stocks application, is now going to be instrumented with a bunch of information that will be fed into the TypeSafe console. So now the application is up and running. Let's go do a little bit more, make a few other requests here in the application. And now let's go over to the TypeSafe console. So the TypeSafe console allows me to visualize in real time everything that's going on in my system. I can see the actor nodes that are being configured here. Here's my reactive stocks actor node. I can go in and see the, uh, the actor systems and then drill in and see the messages and exactly what's going on in my application. 
so I can visualize Akka in real time and what's going the messages that are going through my actor system. I can also switch over to the play part of the, the TypeSafe console and see the requests that are going through my application. So this will show me exactly what's going on in all of my controllers and all the HTTP requests that are happening in my system. So that's the how we launched the console from TypeSafe Activator. And uh, if you want to go back and create new applications, you can come in here and go back and create a new application or open an existing application. That's it. Give TypeSafe Activator a try and let us know what you think. Thanks.